Just got done watching the Apple WWDC kickoff uh, shindig event, live event. I have to say first that I like this event so much more than I liked any of the people sitting in the seats, uh, awkward stage presence, just uh, sycophantic clapping kind of things that they've had in the past. I would prefer that this is the way that Apple does all of their events from this point on. But saying that, let's talk really quickly about some of the things that were announced and what they might mean, what they do mean, uh, you know, just some of the stuff. So we got iOS 14, iPad OS 14. We've got some, in, we got some news about some AirPods. We've got, uh, all kinds, of, two Mac OS is coming out with a, a new version. And along with that new version, we have what is probably the biggest information of the day, the announcement of Apple Silicon, which is what most people were... I, there was word on the street that Apple was going to go proprietary with their own chips, and that's what they've done. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the details of what we've heard and uh, and, and just kind of go through it. I mean, iOS 14, I did not have a whole lot of hope for. I didn't think it was going to be anything all that exciting, but I was wrong. I was wrong because all these things that we've been asking them to do for so many years have suddenly, they they were just like, okay, fine. Okay, fine. You know, we'll give you widgets that you can move around on the screen. We'll give you picture in picture video. We'll give you like new search functions. <laughs> They've got all this stuff. Siri is not, doesn't seem like she's going to be as stupid as she normally is. It's just really pretty incredible. Uh, they, they spent a lot of time deciding what features from Android they most wanted to take on and then decided to take those features on. Yes, there are no new features here in terms of ever before in a smartphone, but it's the first time for Apple. And I have to say that I'm excited to see it. The widgets look like they're going to be really useful. There's also this new, what, they, there's also this new st a smart stack. So it works kind of like a app drawer, only separated out into larger folders than what we used to have. So you could basically have one or two front pages of your iPhone, and then everything else can get sorted into this smart stack that you can go and get. And the search function is much better in terms of pulling down and searching for whatever app it is that you want to have. I, I, that's the way I open apps all the time. I just, I just pull down and start to type and that's how I get my apps. So that's pretty exciting. I, I, <sighs> It's just going to be all kinds of interesting things. iPad OS was where we saw the most improvement last year. This year, we're kind of seeing some of the stuff that they brought into I iOS, just regular iOS, coming over to iPad OS. We've got the same new improved widgets. We've got improved apps. Uh, Siri is giving you different... Re okay, so... One thing that I like is that Siri is no longer going to take over your whole screen. Siri is just going to like pop up in a corner and give you the answers for what you're looking for. And that's all that Siri is going to do. That's going to be it. And they've, they've actually done this with phone calls and a lot of other stuff. So instead of whatever notification or phone call or Siri answer is coming through, you're just going to get a window instead of it taking over your whole screen, which I like quite a bit. I was particularly excited about. Uh, maybe this isn't something to be excited about, but for me, it is. I was particularly excited about the new Apple Pencil features. Apple Pencil now has what they call Scribble, which is uh, text conversion. Again, nothing that we haven't seen before in other operating systems, but now Apple has made it so that you can select and then copy and paste written text into uh, regular typed text documents. There's all kinds of super huge features. If you scribble over something, it'll erase it. <laughs> it just shape conversion is another one where if you draw like a pentagram or something like that, because who doesn't draw pentagrams, then you just hold it there for a second and boom, the pentagram will become a, a better looking pentagram than what you could draw yourself. The scribble text is, is something that I'm pretty ex excited about because, because good people, as somebody who does a lot of writing, a lot of times I want to take notes in the margins or on, on the documents that I'm working on. 
and it's impossible to get that text to then convert over to be able to be put into the document if I want to just like grab it and put it in there. Now I can do it. Now I can do it. And as a writer, that is going to be a big deal. I won't have to only be typing or only be writing. I'll be able to do both. So I'm excited about that. They made some announcements about the AirPods. The AirPods are now going to have auto switching, which again is a, is a feature that I've been wanting to see from the AirPods for quite a while. Now, if you've got your AirPods on and you're going to work at your computer or you pick up your iPad or you sit at your Apple TV or whatever it is that you do, you will be able to then just boom, your AirPods will switch over to that new device, which for me is is great is great now no new hardware announcements i was hoping to see something about the airpods studio or whatever they're going to call them but i didn't see that they didn't have anything like that uh that feature will be more beneficial to me if they do have like an over-the-ear headphone that is halfway decent there was all kinds of new watch os uh announcements there's in, improved sleep tracking there's a hand washing app that t- that will count down with bubbles how long uh you you are washing your hands for so if it recognizes that you're washing your hands this is uh, watch OS 7 now uh if you're washing your hands it'll count down and then if you stop too soon it'll say <laughs> keep going and so you keep going and that's that's pretty cool the cycling directions can also be brought over from maps onto your Apple Watch this entire event was about taking what was already there and then sort of fine-tuning it, making it even more usable and even more rich in terms of impacting your life with using these Apple devices, which I think I think is a good way to go. TVOS, which is what Apple TV runs on, also announced that you can do picture-in-picture on TVOS all the way across the platform as well, which... It, Suddenly, picture in picture is just the thing that Apple does. Uh, before, <laughs> before they didn't do picture in picture before, but now we have picture in picture everywhere, which is good for everyone. Uh, a lot of people who use Apple devices have complained for a long time. I'm looking at you, Viper. Complained for a long time that you cannot move into another app and start doing something, whether it's email or whatever, and still have uh, the video that you're watching or or whatever still be on top so you can con- continue to watch that. So that is all good. Mac OS was their next announcement, and Mac OS, they announced Mac OS Big Sur. So they're continuing along with their California naming convention. It doesn't at first look all that different, but once you get into it, it's clear that it is a lot different. You're getting the iOS style widgets that were showcased on iOS 14 and iPad OS 14. You're getting a lot of little tweaks here and there. But the big news, and I think I think the thing that's going to be most important, that's going to have the most lasting effects for Apple and for people who use Apple devices all along the way, is that Apple announced that they're moving to their own chips. They're calling it Apple Silicon or Silicon or however it is that you want to say that. <laughs> You're taking the architecture of the iPad and the iPhone uh, chips and then they're transporting it over to what they call the um, the Z chip. If you're an Apple user, there's going to be no interruption in your workflow. However, the possibilities for what these machines can do, the the speed benefits that are that are possible, the efficiencies that Apple's going to be able to get from using their own silicone in their own computers with their own operating system, this could be the next leap forward in terms of computing power for the consumer. It's going to, we'll have to wait and see. They announced that we will see our, our first Apple Silicon chip design machine Sometime by the end of 2020. What machine that's going to be, they didn't say. The iMac is due. The iMac is due. They also said that they're going to have a couple more Intel chip versions of of some machines coming out as well. So I know what I'm waiting for. I got to admit, I was 
<laughs> I was hoping for hardware announcements because that's really the big news. But what I saw today with this WWDC event was a lot of exciting, really impactful announcements from Apple in terms of what their software is going to do with their hardware to change the way that we use Apple in general. I just was thinking like, oh, you know, iOS is convenient, but some, it's, but I like a lot of what Android does. Maybe I'll stick with Android. Well, Apple just, <laughs> Apple just grabbed everything that I like in Android and brought it over to their operating systems. So I don't know. It's, uh, I know that makes a lot of people angry. I know it makes a lot of people just want to tear their hair out, but Apple typically does a very good job of that. Did you watch this event? Did you watch this event? Let me know what you th thought down in the comments. Are you excited about any of the things that were announced? Tell me what you were excited about. I personally am pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I think a lot of these new changes to the software are really going to impact the way that I use Apple products on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's good. Anyway, thanks for being here. My name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest, I take so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.